Hi, I'm Lawrence Edwards from Black Mountain Honey. Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Beekeeping. Today we're going to discuss which is better, packages or nukes. So I'll give you a little bit of a background as to what a nuke is, what a package is, I'm sure you already know. So a nucleus colony is just a colony of bees spread over a smaller number of frames. So you can get four frame, five frame or six frame. Six frame tends to be the standard in the UK. Um, it comes with a mated queen that belongs to that colony. It comes with brood in all stages. It comes with stores um, and it's brimming with bees and ready to go and turn into kind of like a full colony. A package, on the other hand, is just a box of bees with a queen. So there's no frames, there's no stores, there's no brood. The queen doesn't actually belong with those bees. The bees are taken from various different colonies and just kind of smashed into a, a box um, and then they're transported over here. So two completely different ways of getting your first colony of bees or increasing the number of bees that you own. And there's some real distinct benefits and disbenefits to both. So the pros and cons. So I'll just discuss a few of them now and then we'll decide which is better. All right, so first off, nukes. And I think in the UK, the majority of people use nukes. Um, the package market over here isn't anywhere near as big as it is in the rest of the world, but you can get packages. Um, so have a look. Uh, if you want to get a package, there are options to get them within the UK. But like I say, predominantly the, the market in the UK is for nukes. So what's good about a nuke? Um, now you'd have seen my previous video as to what to expect when you're buying a nuke. So the first thing to say is there are good and bad nukes and there are good and bad packages. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to assume that you've got a good package or you've got a good nuke. Right, so a good nuke, why, why is a nuke good and why is it good for kind of uh, beginner beekeepers and people increasing their colony numbers? Um, so the reason it's good is that it's a self-contained colony that's ready to go. It's pretty much plug and play. You get a nuke, you put it in a box and you've got bees. It's really, really that simple. Um, they come with all of the resources required to get going and they've got stores in there which gives them a bit of a buffer but more importantly they've got brood if it's a good nuke three or four frames of brood um, each of those frames of brood after it goes through a full cycle so 21 days should in good conditions turn into three frames of bees so you can kind of have four frames of brood you would expect that after three or four weeks to fill a box so you've got a box full of bees brood in all stages and stores and then hopefully if the weather's good you're lucky to put a super on and start getting some honey um, so that's a really really big benefit it's plug and play it's easy and the chances of getting honey in your first year are greatly improved um, what else is good about a nuke uh, if you're getting an overwintered nuke it's proven to overwinter it's not um, there's no guesswork involved you know that that colony has gone through a season the queen has successfully mated, she's proven to go over winter, um, to manage that colony over winter, and she's proven to come out of the other end. Uh, when the seller gives it to you, that nuke will be expanding, so she's proven to expand. Um, it would have had a health check, so it's proven to be disease free. So that should be done by the kind of reputable seller or the bee inspector, but you should be getting a disease free colony. Um, another good thing is that, you know I mean, you can get them ordered through the post. So I would always recommend going and getting a local nuke um, just because I think it's nicer to go and meet the beekeeper kind of take ownership of it and then it's easier to go back if there's any issues with it um, but nukes will travel and do travel quite well in the post a number of major retailers kind of selling those now um, BS Honey Nukes is one of them I know they sell a lot of, of nukes through the post so you would have seen the video or shortly will see the video we do where we install the packages Installing a nuke, like I said, is one of the easiest things to do. It comes on the frames. You buy the frames in the same format as your hive and you literally just pick them up, plonk them in. It's really, really good. So on a lot of sites, they say that the big negative with nukes is that they can't be transported. And okay, you wouldn't want to ship them kind of across the world, but they, you can ship them in the post. As I say, like BS Honey Nukes do that. A number of retailers do that. They ship out the nukes. Um, if, the, if the postal service take care of that, although the frames can be fragile and they can shake around and there is an increased risk of queen damage by doing that. It does seem to work okay, so I don't think it's as big a uh, con as people make out. So then moving on to the cons of nukes, um, and the big one for me is that you can transport disease. So if you've got someone who's selling nukes and they're not doing the correct checks, you could quite easily install a diseased colony into your hive, and that's the risk that you take. Um, 
I don't see it happening a lot. Obviously, we kind of do full inspections of all of our nukes before we sell them. We get the bee inspector to come in a lot of the time and inspect them as well. And we keep full details and lists of everyone that they go out to in order to kind of track disease if and, if and when that did happen. Um, but that's one of the big risks. And then the number one con, and I say con, is the price. Nukes are considerably more expensive than packages. Um, and you see nukes going for kind of like a wide range of prices. And I kind of put in a little bit of justification for the cost of those. Um, it's incredibly resource intensive getting nukes into a position where you're going to overwinter them. Um, you've got to pay for the frames, you've got to pay for the feed, you've got to pay for the treatment, you've got to pay for the queens. Um, you get losses. So if you take 50 nuke boxes into winter and you get a bad year and you get 20% losses, you've lost, do you know what I mean, 10 of those colonies. And if you're selling them at 200 quid each, you've lost two grand. Um, so the profit margin needs to kind of take into account your losses that you're going to have. And that's why um, mid-summer nukes are considerably cheaper because a, uh, a bee farmer can make up, say, 50 nukes and he knows he's going to sell 50 nukes. Whereas if he makes up 50 nukes and takes them into winter, it's a bit of an unknown as to how many he's going to get through. Um, and I find personally getting nukes through winter is probably a bit easier than getting the colonies through winter. I think they like the, the small format of the, of the poly nukes and they do tend to get through quite well, but the risk is there. So in this kind of package versus nuke debate, I think the, the biggest disadvantage that nukes have is the cost. Um, they can be quite pricey. Right, so on to packages then. So we've got the video here today. We're installing 20 packages. We've ordered 60 packages to be installed this season. Um, the main reason for me doing that is because I'm changing over to a different format frame. And this is one of the huge benefits for me is that <clears throat> they don't come on frames. So whereas the pro for the nuke was they do come on frames, the certain situations where, and in my situation, I'm moving over to a different frame format. The fact that the packages come uh, without frames is really really beneficial for me because I can just chuck it into whichever frame size I want and then they're on that frame now. Um, so I'm moving over to 14 by 12. Getting a 14 by 12 nuke is considerably more expensive than getting a standard national nuke um, and it's difficult to get the quantity that I would have needed early in the year to kind of satisfy my requirement. So two really really big positives there. One, they don't come on frames so you can kind of adjust it to suit the frames that you need. <clears throat> And then the other one is they're available really, really early in the season. So obviously they're going to be imported. We've got ours from northern Italy, um, hundreds of miles away from where any small hive beetle are. Um, they've come from a really, really reputable bee farmer, biggest bee farmer in the UK. Um, and they've come here kind of 18th or 19th of April they came. So got them really, really nice and early in the season, big, strong packages, and we've installed them in our hives. So another pro of package bees is they are very, very easy to transport. So I know we said nukes, yep, yeah, you can transport them, but that does come with risks, especially if they're not gonna cage the queen, which they don't tend to. Do you know what I mean? The frames can move, it can damage bees, and if it kills that queen, then you're, you're a little bit snookered. Um, but package bees, the queen comes separately and she comes caged, uh, and it's just a big box of bees that cluster around each other. Um, so what that means is that you can, they ship and transport very well and like I say ours have come over from northern Italy um, so they came on the back of a back of a pickup truck they had a trailer on the back and they just drove them in from northern Italy into the UK into Wales so I don't know how long it took them I would imagine it's probably taken them at least 24 hours on the back of a truck banging around and they've come here and the, the mortality rate is incredibly low like I say there's, there's barely 50 dead bees at the bottom of these boxes you can tell they're fresh you can tell that they've handled the transport really really well Okay, so over to some of the cons of packages then. And the big con with packages, and I'm not saying it in like a con, like a rip off. One of the disadvantages with packages is they are slow to take off. So it'd be really, really interesting. And I think I will do this for the purposes of another video because I've got some freshly installed nukes at the moment is I will do a comparison of um, a six frame nuke going into a box versus a package going into a box. Um, because the nuke has the distinct advantage that it has brewed in all stages where a package has no brood. Um, so you need to make sure that you're introducing the, the package of bees into your hive, making sure they don't abscond. And then you need to introduce the queen to them, get them all to kind of make get happy with each other. Uh, and then that queen needs to start to lay. So you're talking at least absolute minimum 24, 25 days before you see the first young bee emerge. Um, whereas a nuke, 
it's on day one. Do you know what I mean? You install a nuke and the next day you've got young bees emerging, keeping up, topping up those colony numbers. Um, and we know how long um, bees live. Do you know what I mean? You're talking kind of four to six weeks at the height of the season, maybe a little bit longer now, but all of my package bees there, every single bee in that package will be dead in six weeks. Um, so that colony needs to work so, so hard in order to kind of build that brood up to get the colony going. So what you actually tend to see with a package is that after say three or four days, it looks like it's over say four or five frames. And then after two or three weeks, it actually contracts. And that's because all the bees are dying um, and there's no young nurse bees to replace them because the brood is in such an early stage of its development. Um, so packages do catch up. Um, but you're very, very unlikely to get a kind of bumper crop of honey in your first year with a package, if anything. Like, I'm targeting these packages for the heather. So the heather season around here starts kind of like early. First of August, I think, is a good guideline around here. But in previous years, it's actually gone back to kind of like 15th of July-ish. Um, it changes each year. I don't think these bees will be ready for anything else other than the heather because they've got, they've got to kind of develop and get going and all the bees are going to die so they're going to kind of get bigger, get a bit smaller and then get bigger again. Whereas a nuke, it just gets bigger. So it's really, really kind of a race against each other. The nuke is always, always, always going to win and that's why you're paying additional money for it. Um, so that's a huge disadvantage of packages is that they're not as quick to get off the mark as nukes. So another disadvantage with packages, and I know I'm really selling your packages here, um, is that the queen doesn't come from that colony. So we discussed it before, I mean, a nuke, the queen comes with it, she's not caged, she belongs to that colony, that is the colony's queen. Whereas a package is just a box, loads of bees shaken in, and it's just got a random queen. So I've just picked them randomly out of the box. There's no connection between the box of bees and that queen. So you need to make sure they don't kill her. Um, so if you just, do you mean, look at the other videos where we introduced to it. If I just took that plastic cap off um, or just chucked a queen in, those bees would kill her instantly because they don't know her and they're going to reject her. So you need to be a lot care more careful when introducing packages to a hive and when introducing queens to those packages. There's simple, easy methods for doing that, but it is a little bit more involved. Um, do you mean, I've got, I've got nukes at the moment. I put them in a box and I'm going to leave them for three weeks. I'm not going to do anything like it's glorious weather. I don't need to feed them. They've got absolutely tons of space in the brood box. I'm just not going to do anything. I'm going to go back in three weeks and they'll probably fill the box, put a super on. Really, really easy. The packages, all right, I've had to go to service station to get them. Um, but I've brought them back here. I've had to install them. I've had to do various manipulations already. I've had to make up some syrup. Even though it's nice weather, you need to feed packages. Um, they need a lot of energy because they don't come with any of it within the kind of box that you're buying. And then I'm gonna to have to come back here later on this evening, check on them, make sure all the bees are actually out of the package, put the frames back on, um, and then I've got to do weekly inspections on them or even kind of three or four daily inspections to make sure that they've got enough syrup, especially if the weather turns. So it's a lot more labor intensive on my part managing the packages than it is managing the nukes. So as always, I probably missed out something. Do you know what I mean? When I did my multi-purpose crown board video, I missed out the reason that I made the boards in the first place, which was to use them as clearer boards. So yeah, I, I would have probably missed out stuff on this video. Probably missed out some pros, probably missed out some cons. Um, but in conclusion, and I guess you're waiting for it, which is better, packages or nukes? <laughs> I'd say nukes. Personally, if, if I had to choose only one, I'd, I'd go with nukes. But my kind of generic answer is they both fit different purposes um, and I will continue to use both of them. Um, the big advantage for me uh, and the big reason that I will use packages um, is that I can get them early in the year. That's that's the big one. I can get them early in the year and can get them in really, really good numbers and they're cheap. If you buy them in bulk, they're really, really cheap. Um, but if I had a preference and money wasn't an issue, I'd go with the nucleuses. Now, if I was a beginner, so I'd never had a colony of bees before, um, and I was going to pick or choose nucleus or package, it's an absolute no-brainer, go with the nucleus. I, can't, I, I personally can't see any instance where um, a package would be preferable. Uh, now I get that different people are going to be in different situations, so if you're in, I don't know, somewhere in the outback in Australia or somewhere in the kind of deep south in America and you don't have anyone around you who sells nucleuses, 
then you're limited and you go with a package and a package will work really really well um, but if you, I mean, if you had someone come into your door with a package or a nucleus, uh, money was no issue. I'm not sure why anyone would ever go for the package. But I do appreciate that other people have different opinions on that. So if you, if you genuinely think you'd always go for a package, stick a comment on and we'll have a discussion about it. I'd be really interested to know why, um, if you had that option where someone came to the door and said you can have a package or a nuke and they're the same price, why you would go for that package. Because I can't really see any any benefit over the nuke. Now one thing that I have missed on here and this is a really really important one so if you've got a flow hive listen to this um, if you've got a flow hive go for a package I have so many people come to me in the UK saying I've just bought myself a flow hive um, I want a nucleus of bees and I say to them okay I've only, I've only, I only do uh, nukes on national frames and they said yeah yeah that's fine and then I have to kind of let them know a little bit that the national frames aren't going to fit in the Langstroth frames within the flow hive. Um, so I've done three now where I've had to cut out all of the brood and bungee it in to the Langstroth frame for them and then shaking all the rest of the bees. And it's a nightmare. Um, it, it really is an absolute nightmare where if they had a package, just dump it in and then they work the frames, give them a feed and it, you've got a perfect kind of... Uh, scenario for people with flow hives so if you've got a flow hive and you're watching this look for packages it's going to make your life so much easier if you can't find a langstroth nuke and they do exist in the uk you can find them i know a few people who do langstroth nukes um, and what i do now is if people come to me saying i've got a flow hive i just point them in the direction of people who do the langstroth nukes because um, i do think that is preferable but yeah if you if you can't find a langstroth nuke go with the package instead definitely better than bungee and kind of cut out brood from the national in there so that's it for the video i know a little bit non-committal saying that i use both but if i had to choose it would be a nuke um and like i say i think that's a really really good video to do so kind of having a bit of a brainstorm as we talk i will do a comparison video of the nuke that i installed about three days ago versus the package that i've installed today and i'll give you kind of like a running commentary and a running update in terms of where those colonies are and we'll see which one gets the super on first and i reckon almost certainly it'll be the nuke especially with the nice weather that we've got nice dry weather really really good for foraging so that's it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it um just want to say a thank you again to our sponsors so thank you abello thank you bbware for sponsoring us please make sure you hit the subscribe button please hit the bell so you're notified of every video and i'll see you next time